Talk to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. About me? Yeah. <laughs> I really like, like you. So, how is your vacation going? Holiday? Huh? How is your holiday going? Holiday. Study. Study all the time. All the time, really? Yeah. Not, not even relaxing a bit, watching a movie? Uh, no. No? Study all the time. Uh, uh, ready for, uh, Prepare for the postgraduate uh, examination. Examination. No, oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> so both of you are going to do this post graduation examination. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, at home, right? Not teaching. 
but uh, I am uh, prepared working on my next book. Oh. Do, do you have my reishi? No. Do you have my reishi? No? no. I can give you one of my books to you guys for free. Really? Yeah. Do you want it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> So is this one you or her? Her. This is her, okay. Her name is Ping Ping. Ping Ping? Ping Ping. Ping Ping? Ping Ping. Oh. Yeah. her picture this is why I took the picture because I put here in the background oh so when I open I see her picture I know who she is uh, translate I am oh, okay I see ping ping right shoe shoe ping ping shoe ping ping Also gonna change her name here. Now the other one must be you, right? So you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you're not using your own picture as well, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. That's not you? No. Yeah, that's not you. It's my idol. It's uh, your idol. Yeah. So why nobody here in China user using their own picture? <laughs> nobody here uses their own picture. It's very strange for me. Because we think. Hmm. We we'll use uh, our own uh, picture. Hmm. Lulu. We Lulu. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yao Lulu. Yao Lulu. Yeah. You think you can send the picture to the picture? Yes, this is going to help you uh, improve your English. I hope. Right? I'm also sending you guys a link. This link is to my website. You can go to the website and do a book test. Just for fun, to see how much you remember by reading the book. So anyway, so what, what are you studying? What is your major? Are you studying? Major in English. Oh, English. <laughs> Oh, I see. <laughs> 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 sounds funny. So, are you classmates? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you both, we all join your English corner. Mm. Oh, you have been to the English corner yeah, last yeah, semester. Yeah. Are you going to have English corner this semester? Uh, maybe... Uh, I don't have any time. Have 
Because they started last semester, and every Wednesday I was going there, and a few students went there. Oh, I don't. But English corner is to help students. So to go to English corner is not wasting time. It's kind of a helping you learn English. No, I mean we don't have any spare time. I we need to prepare for the examination now. Mm. Yeah, so it's very busy. But for example, when you go to English corner, it's helping you prepare for the examination. So a lot of students feel like you do like oh, I'm gonna go to English corner, I'm gonna be wasting my time. No, it's not wasting. It's mm. gonna helping you to improve your English. We think it's useful. We used to uh, <laughs> drawing. We used to drawing. It. Yes, it's very useful. Yeah. So students who actually speak good English, they, they is this, this is because they're able to participate in activities like this. But every time you practice one of the four skills, for example, reading, mm -hmm. writing, speaking, and listening, every time you practice one of them, it enforces the other. For example, if you go to English corner, you practice uh, speaking, right? Yeah. So you might learn new words, you might understand, start uh, understanding better because you're practicing listening as well. And besides of that, it's also very fun. So you make new friends, you have to you play some games, right? Yeah. You, you, you talk to people. time I talked to you was in the English corner? No. It was long ago, right? Eh? Because uh, did, did you talk to me in the English corner? No. no. no? How do you know me? Because you, because of the English corner? How, how do you know me? No, we just... Uh, ah, just saw me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I do this all the time. I sit with the students all the time. To eat together, but I don't remember everybody, right? But uh, I always remember you. Uh, I'm easy to remember because I remember I'm, I, am, I am one of the few foreigners, but uh, I don't remember with all the students that I sit to eat together. Uh. <laughs> it's, it's hard for me. No family here. I am alone here. Alone. Alone. Yeah. Oh. My wife divorced me ten years ago. Oh. I am divorced. Oh. So my kids, my kids are living with her. How old? How old? One is eighteen. The other one is sixteen. Sixteen. Yes. Here's a picture. Soon, no doctor. This is my website. I sent you the link, right? But here's a. Um, yeah. Oh. Can 
myself. <laughs> this was uh, two months ago. I spent my vacation in Brazil, so I took this picture with them. <laughs> you can go to the, my website, right? So if you, for example, the link that I sent to you is it is from my website. For example, you can click the link. You're gonna open the website. And then you click here the the menu and then click blog. Oh. There's many articles. That one of the articles is my about my vacation with you. Oh, share your life. Yeah. So when are you going to graduate? So this is your first year in university, second year, third year? Last year. Last year, oh. So what's going to happen when you graduate? Are you going to look for a job? Oh, you wanted to do a keep studying, right? Post graduation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. So why do you want to keep studying? <laughs> what? I love studying. Oh, you love studying? You know, in China, uh, mm. you, you, you want to look uh, a good job, it's very difficult. Oh. So we think uh, uh, to make a good preparation for the job, uh, uh, to improve ourselves, improve our... Uh, mm. <laughs> Usually my first teaching class when I get a new student like I did in this semester I teach how to look for a job and uh, this is an that is an article in the blog section it calls networking so this is how I found my job here in China through networking not not about sending my resume to a thousands of companies and uh, if a student ha know how to do properly networking, it gonna, finding a job is going to be so much easier. And I recorded that class, and then you can watch in the Yuku. So look for the post that says uh, networking, and then read the article. You can click on the Yuku link, and then you can watch the class. <clears throat> But most students tell me the same answer. I'm, I'm gonna keep studying because it's so hard to find a job. Yes. But most of the time they don't even know how to go about looking for a job. It is hard everywhere, it's not a, only in China. So we, we think we, uh, we can do a good job uh, because uh, we think our, uh, uh, my, ability, my ability is not good. <clears throat> Looking for a good job, uh, it's a <laughs> standard is very high. You don't need to be perfect to, to get a job. You need to show the company that you are l willing to keep learning. Yeah. If they see a potential in you, they can they can uh, hire you, and they still can be investing in you, right? So you can keep learning. <clears throat> do, do you feel lonely in China? Long? Uh, sometimes. So you make a. Uh, this is the question that everybody asks me as well. Maybe, where is it? Here, you can read this one. 
Oh, loneliness. Loneliness. I came here to Zhengzhou because of her, but she actually never came here to meet me. <clears throat> this is another question that a lot of students ask me. If I was open to have another relationship, I said yes. So I, and then I tell them that I came here because of a girl. But she actually never came to meet me. So, okay. <laughs> You mean how long more? How much no, no, more no, no, time? No, 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 no. Uh, you wanna know how long have I been here or how long I will stay here? How long you will stay here? I don't know, I just signed a contract for one year, right? It's gonna be ending next year. Next year. Every time the contract ends, they ask me, do you wanna stay here one more year? And then we renew the contract. Oh. I've been doing this for five years, since I came here in 2018. So every year they ask me, do you want to stay here one more year? And then we renew the contract. So I like it here. That's why, that's why I'm renewing the contract. You, love, you like China? Yes, that's why I'm renewing the contract. So I can stay one more year. What about you? Do you like China? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, really. Let's see. <laughs> <coughs> Proud of my country. Yes. <coughs> Do you want to go abroad, maybe, mm -hmm. one day? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and th what's that for? Just for tourism or maybe you work like me? Uh, maybe study or travel. Travel. I think everybody wants to travel all around the world. Yeah. To see the beautiful scenery, to feel a different culture. China has a lot of a beautiful scenery. Yeah. The, the, the last city that I was teaching was Zhujian. In Zhujian, they have this a beautiful mountain called Lushan Mountain there. Yeah, exactly. Did you hear about this mountain? The, the, the mountain was very close to the university, just beside the university. So every Saturday I will go to walk in the mountain. Very, very nice. And I, I miss that because here I'm not doing too much of exercising. My, my apartment to classes and that's it. Sounds great. Do you go to Luoyang? Hmm? Luoyang? Do you go to Luoyang? Luoyang? Yeah. No. So near to Zhengzhou? Near? Yeah. Mm. 
gonna take uh, half an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. This one is the this one that I was talking about, Lushan Mountain. Yeah, th this is the map here. The Lushan is here. I'm right? oh, sorry. The yeah, the mountain is here. This is the city mm. that I was teaching, yeah. and this is one of the picture in the mountain there. Beautiful. Yeah. <clears throat> I haven't been over here. Ha, do you know this place? Have you been there? Mm, mm. I know, but uh, I, we have been mm. over here. Have any plans for teaching? No. Just, ah. uh, when you don't want to be a teacher, you don't want to be a teacher. Ah, you don't want to be a teacher. She means when you quit the job. Well, uh, now the, uh, teaching students, uh, mm, you will go to do <laughs> what kind of work? Yeah, yeah. For example, if I'm not teaching, what what kind of work would uh, would I do? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So before coming in China, I was working in an IT company, in a phone company. I was IT working in the cost, customer service, dealing with customers all day long. Mm -hmm. But I find that teaching job much more fun, more rewarding. Kind of, I, I like the teaching job more. Everyone is different, right? So you, you have to try many things and then you find something that you like to do, right? So you like teaching. Yes, this is why, I, for example, I, um, that, that job that I was holding, it was a, a, a kind of a government company. So they gave me a license for two years and then they renewed the license for another two years. But one year ago, I have to, uh, oh, if you don't come back, you're going to lose that job in Brazil. And I said, oh, that's okay. I'm happy here in China <laughs> teaching, so I, I don't mind. It. And then, then I lose the job back in Brazil. But uh, because I didn't see myself going back to that job, why I'm liking it here so much. So, I think it's horrid to do things you like. Yes, it, it has a, a certain Ooh. degree of risk, yes. Ooh. But it was for me, for, was easy because the company gave me a license. I could go back there and still have my job there anytime but now I didn't because it's more than four years right mm. but if I if I came here I didn't like it, I could go back to Brazil and still have that job but it's making a lot of it's it is more harder when you have to quit a job to start a new one and what if you don't like the new one right yeah. and then you don't have the old one anymore and this is harder there's two ways to to overcome problems like this for example if you have some money in the savings account it's gonna be very helpful right yeah if you don't have any money now no job then you're gonna be desperate ah I have no money and no job <clears throat> sounds awful <laughs> do you enjoy the food in China yeah I enjoy a lot there's two good things about the food here I come to the canteen, I don't eat at home, right? So I don't have to cook. And also I have to make, a, I get to make new friends. So I never, you almost never eat, see me eating alone. If you see me eating alone, it's because you guys finish and leave. And then I'll stay alone in the table. But most of the time I always start eating with someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And usually, not, not many times, but when they don't speak English, like you do guys, you do speak in English, right? But when the student does not speak in English, they feel very uncomfortable. They can go away. <laughs> they just shy. <laughs> yeah, just shy. And that happens a lot, yeah? The Chinese teacher will say, don't be shy, give a try. <laughs> I 
So did you have a foreign teacher? Like me, English teacher? No, foreign? No, 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 never? Wait, yeah. not in this school. Oh, okay. Russian. Russian. Just a little bit nervous. Yeah, don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Why from Italian and why from my two? Where are you from? I'm from Brazil, Bashi. Questions for me? Yeah. Any more questions? Yes. <laughs> In your spare time, what do you want to do? Uh, in my spare, I do have a lot of spare time. <coughs> I work in my books, working that website as well. <coughs> and I came to the university here to part to to meet with the students. Sometimes I go to the playground, walk there. When I know there's some activity going on, usually the students invite me. If they don't invite me, I invite myself. Like for example, I ask, Ah, what's going on in the university? Ah, they tell me, Ah, tomorrow we're gonna have this. And then I ask, ah, can I go? <laughs> <laughs> so I got invited to go to the uh, graduation parties, go to the English speech contest, things like that. Very interesting. Huh? It's interesting. Yes. <clears throat> because, for example, I, if I read a post, for example, a post, ah, oh, there's going to be an activity tomorrow. I don't understand Chinese. So yeah. I need someone to tell me. And uh, this is why I always came here, sit with someone and ask him, do you know anything is going on? If they know, I ask them to tell me, to invite me. But, but mm. can you speak Chinese? No, I don't speak Chinese. But can you understand what we are talking about? No. A little bit? No. <laughs> that, that's why. It's amazing. <laughs> you know, you know. No. <laughs> yes, ni hao. Just a few words I know, but uh, I usually uh, I don't understand. Yes, thank you. Yeah, but uh, I don't speak Chinese. That, that's why. You ever uh, want to study learning Chinese? When I came here the first year, I w I was trying very hard, <laughs> but that's kind of a complicated. I didn't. I don't know. I didn't get anything improving my Chinese at all. <laughs> But the thing is, I'm teaching English, the student wants to talk in English, so I have no one teaching me Chinese. But you, you, you don't understand English? Yeah, I don't understand it. I just oh. understand the number, how much it costs. And the second number after, I mean, the second letter after the number is the, the U1, right? 9 U1, 12 U1. But, but how the, can you decide uh, what? No, I, just, I just point. Oh, the yes. food is there, right? Oh, I want this, this, and this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to say anything. I can't, say, I can't say anything like ni hao, ni hao, ni hao. Oh. But some food is not ready, uh, not present in the station. Yeah, when I need help, I grab it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They, they, they always find someone who helps me. Yeah, so that's not a problem. But, uh, for example, I cannot go outside of university to eat in a restaurant because there I, I don't, I have no way to talk to the waitress. Yeah, I don't yeah. know how to ask for food. Here, here is very easy. There's a lot of students 
Yes. Here's always, always there's a student who can help me. Yes, when I go outside, eating outside, it, that is usually because I'm with some friends. It's, it's not that I never went outside, but when I go outside, it's because someone invites me. For example, students sometimes they go outside, right, to eat in a restaurant, visit the museum or whatever. And sometimes they get teacher, we're going outside, do you want to go with us? And I usually say yes, and I go with them. So... I forgot the name of this store, but just before the the, the vacation, like in Ju the end of uh, July, when the I have a couple of students who invite me to go to a restaurant, very nice, all you can eat. I forgot the name of the place, but it was very nice. <laughs> Which kind of food? Huh? Which kind of food? Uh, it's out. You, it's self service. You can go there and grab the food. Right? It's kind of a. It's, everyone has a. It's kind of a hugo, right? Uh, uh, small, a small pot, you can put things inside, but it's individual, everyone has their own fan. Do you know Heidi Law? Heidi Law? Yeah. What's that? Hot pot. No. Oh. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heidi Law is, is, is the name of the restaurant? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heidi Law? Heidi Law. Uh -huh. Heidi Law. They, they do have here, but it's small, right? So on the third floor, they have a, this, uh, uh, this yes, uh, uh, yeah. space in front of you, just grab stuff. <laughs> not tasty. <laughs> the, that woman is not tasty? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, I think. <coughs> Maybe you, you, you can try, you can, you can try high tea long. It's, it's, it's also hot pot. Tasty. <laughs> so when you go there, you can invite me. Okay, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, for example, this is a Shaolin temple. Oh. And uh <coughs> I met this guy here. Okay, let's see if there's another on. Oh, oh, this picture is not loading, but this is this is might be his picture. It's not loading. Okay, but uh, so this is another one. This guy here is a Chinese person that I met here in the campus. He was walking. He was, he was retired. He used to work in the university, oh, and then the now work here. Yes. And I, I, I met him in the grass, walking the university. Oh. And then he told me, oh, do you know Shaolin Temple? I, uh, I'm gonna go there next week, do you wanna go with me? Oh. So he invited me to go to the Shaolin Temple. And then he took me to the Shaolin Temple. I took some picture, let's see if I put some more pictures. <laughs> the, pic the picture is not loading up, I don't know why. Oh. It's a teacher? He, he used to be a teacher, I don't know. But for example, he took me to the Shaolin Temple in the morning, and then we went to the mountains in the afternoon, and then in the, in the beginning of the night, he took me to the uh, Shaolin Zen Musical Ritual. It's a, it's a, it's a open air, yeah. like the, the stage was the mountain. And uh, they have a. It, it, this is why it has to be at night because they have those laser show, right? So very beautiful. And then I spent the whole Saturday with him. Oh. It was very very nice. <laughs> uh, usually I, I don't go outside by myself unless somebody invites me or I always go with someone or some students. That's that's how it works for me. Maybe we will invite you to. Yes, na <laughs> now you have <laughs> my. <laughs> now you have my WeChat. So you yeah. Can, yes. If you have a time. If I have, yes, I do have time. I do have more time <laughs> than you. <laughs> You're always studying, right? <laughs> For example, now is a holiday, right? It's supposed to be the time that you do something fun, right? Yeah. Not not studying all the time. You know, studying all the time is not the best strategy for learning something. It's only 
80, huh? 80, 80 days. 80 days for what? Uh, for, for the exam examination. Oh, for examination. Yeah. examination. Studying hard is one thing, but studying all the time is not the best, the best strategy. Yeah, really, really tired. <laughs> For example, I talk to my students about this, learning a language, right? Did you ever felt like, for example, you are studying hard all the time and your student just beside you, right, your classmate, seems to be relaxing, having yeah. fun, going to parties, and he get a better grade than you. How is that possible? Did you ever be in a position like this? That you feel like you're studying much harder than your classmate who seems to be watching movies, going to English corner, just talking for fun, relaxing, and he's got a better grade than you. Yeah. How is that possible? Did you be in a position like this? Yeah. <laughs> that is very common in language learning, because language is not only about studying hard, memorizing books, doing exercise, it's also about communication. For yeah. example, when you go to English corner, most of the students feel like, I'm wasting my time, I could be reading a book or studying hard but English corner it is learning English you can learn vocabulary you can uh, li uh, train your listening skills for example most some tests are kind of uh, you need to listen to a clip and then understand right the clip and then do a test about the clip if you your listening skill are not understanding what the clip is saying you're gonna do bad in tests and the students who are going to English corner they're talking to one person to another person they're training their listening skills. Yeah. This is why he's doing better. You, 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 even not studying hard as you are studying hard. <laughs> and uh, there's another point as well. For example, a mind that is tired is not performing at the peak point. No, yeah, yeah, so yeah, if you I take know. a break, like uh, maybe relaxing, when you go back to study, your mind is going to be in the peak performance again. But if you're studying all the time, your peak performance is getting lower. And if you don't have a break, you never go back to the peak performance. Yeah. So this is why studying all the time, 24 hours, every day, is not the best strategy. But Chinese students... They don't know that, uh -uh. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they study, study, study. But... Uh, but you know, in Chinese uh, high school, they study from... Uh, uh, 5 a.m. 5 a.m. a.m. until the 10 p.m. 11 p.m. That's too much. <laughs> it's really unbelievable. Yes. But we all been through this. So, for example, I talk. For example, you, you notice I talk a lot about tips, right? Uh. And I probably have a one that I talk about having a balanced life. Balanced life means doing a little bit of uh, many things, right? Not only studying, but studying, for example, making friends, relaxing, sleeping well, eating well. If, you ha if you're missing the points, right, you're going to have not a balanced life. Balanced life is when you have all the things going well. Yeah, we know. Mm. For example, having a job, having, finding a good job is not only about having technical skills. Yeah. Most of the students are focusing on the technical skills. But it's also having a relationship skills, people skills, yeah. right? Networking, getting to know more people. This is also going to help you find a job, not only studying. Yeah. So I talk a, a lot about those things. For example, my, uh, okay, let's see for the other page here. For graduation, English corner, for example, uh, English corner, engaging students, okay, honesty, integrity, I had some students cheating on my class. For example, how learning English benefits you in the professional life. For example, this is a story of my sister-in-law. So, we, I was living in the United States and she came to live with us one year and she did high school, one year high school in the United States and she learned English there. And because of her English, now she's having a job, a very good job, that she couldn't have otherwise. Wow. So if she didn't want to never be in the position that she is right now. Yeah. Very good. I talk about networking. I told you about this one, right? Networking. Oh, this is one of the parties that was crashing, right? Graduation parties, students taking pictures for their graduation. I remember, the, I remember this chart. Do you remember this? This was in 
Georgian. But, but, but you, you, you wear no, shirts. Not this here. Shirt. It's a shirt, sir. Shirt. Oh, this shirt. Yeah, yeah, I'm using this shirt all the time. I really like it. So, but, oh, okay. This is another question that students ask me all the time. Teacher, do you have only one shirt? You're using it all the time? <laughs> so, so, I, I made a post about this one. <laughs> so I actually have... Oh, I'm, yes, I'm using all the time, right? Yeah. In class, English corner, it, not, not today, but for example, I, in class I'm always using. I have five of them. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, the name is embroidered there is my name, Gameiro. Yeah. But uh, the G, right, the G here, is from uh, Green Bay. Green Bay is a famous brand in the United States. Oh. So the G is not for Gamero, the G is for the Green Bay. But I embroidered my name on top of it. But yes, a lot of people, yeah, this guy's always wearing this green shirt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> it looks good. Page three. English corner, loneliness. This is a, a exercise for helping the students to become less shy. Oh. Maybe you want to read this one and uh, do this challenge. Okay. Uh, for example, I'm talking about here missing family events because I'm here in China. I'm missing Christmas, missing happy birthdays, birthday, right? Birthdays. Oh, this is a student. <laughs> this is a student asking my help to get a girlfriend. Oh. He, is, he was so shy. And I was talking to them, to a group of students. Right? They are all roommates. There are six of them, right? And then one of them took the courage. Ah, oh, teacher, I, I don't have a girlfriend. What? Can you help me? And then I, I said yes, but not the way he expected. <laughs> I, never, I would not find a girlfriend and give it to him, right? So he needs to do some work in himself. Yeah. I talk about uh, having, being less shy. I give him the, the challenge, the power mm. posing challenge. So he becomes less shy. But for example, on that day, I was within the second floor. Uh. And I told him, okay, let's go downstairs and uh, let's sit with some girls. Yeah. And then he said, no, 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 no. I said, no, relax. I, I will do the approaching. You just come with me. And then, okay. And then we grab an ice cream, he grab a juice, and then we came from here, right? The stairs, and then start walking because the first floor is always more crowded, right? Mm -hmm. And then he starts looking out. What? We're gonna go sit there? There's cute girls over there, right? Yeah. Okay, and then we choose a table with two girls, like you guys, right? Two, and then we have more two spaces, right? Oh, yeah. And then I approach the girls and said, Oh, can we sit here? So I have my friend here, and then they, they didn't speak English well. So I asked him to help me translate for them. Oh. And then soon enough, I was just sitting quiet and she was talking and he was talking to the girls and I was just seeing them. Right? And then after half an hour, they leave and it's asking, was that hard? <laughs> and I said, no, it wasn't that, no, it wasn't that, that hard, but I was very <laughs> nervous. And then I said, if you start doing this every day, like sitting with girls, pretty soon you're going to have a girlfriend. Yeah. Right? <laughs> So, so yes. So finally, uh, him. Maybe he got a uh, girlfriend. No, I I, uh, I talked to him to start doing this. Right? Mm -hmm. If he starts sitting with girls every day or with a different girl, one day he's gonna find one that's gonna be I don't know like it more, and they're gonna like him. So this is the way of. Uh, it's not like a uh, choose <laughs> one now without even talking to her, right? It's not like that. <laughs> <It's> not <laughs> 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 Maybe you mm. do you know the word Chinese Chinese words "she you." Yes, I know the leftover, right? <laughs> so why do you want to tell me about it? <laughs> because you. <d> <laughs> but 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 one thing that I find interesting, for example, I got this from the English corner. A lot of girls they don't want to get married anymore. Yeah. Why is yeah. that? Yeah. They go go through life alone. Alone is not very yeah. good. But um, uh, not as many. Girls think they will have, have a, they will enjoy their own life yeah, without may, the baby. Maybe here in the university or never alone, but uh, after university, you maybe gonna start finding a job, right? Yeah. You're gonna maybe live alone. This is not very good. Yeah. It seems like uh, most most people want to. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> want, to, <laughs> they want, want to, to use your money to uh, enrich their, uh, themselves life uh, like uh, traveling like reading like um, uh, do something interesting yeah I understand that but uh, you, you know there's a there's a movement very strong in the United States called feminism have you heard about it yeah 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 do you know what it is about uh, so the feminism starts preaching out oh, uh, the the men don't give the same rights to the woman so they want to equal pay they want to equal opportunity so they start preaching the woman they can be equal to men yeah. and then they start saying oh you don't have to marry you don't and then a lot of women buy buy into this philosophy yeah. and uh, for example right now in the United States there's a lot of uh, girls who buy into the feminism and they decided not to marry now they have a good financial life they have homes they have cars maybe they're they have their own companies mm. but they're still single and no kids and now they're reaching 40 45 and they feel lonely and they feel miserable because good job and money does not make up for having good relationships yeah. Yeah. and now they want to find a partner and it's very hard because it's so much easier to find a partner when you are 20 20 21 20 when you are 40 45 is much much harder but 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 uh, and I, and if you ask them so if you have the chance to go back in time would you do it differently and they said yes but now they of course they cannot go back in time right i think maybe they will uh, change uh, change their mind when they uh, met some guys uh, when uh, they think he's sincere yes but the thing is maybe if they don't change their mind too late yeah. but the, the, the more you let time goes by the harder it becomes yeah. I'm not saying that studying is not is a is not a good thing yes everyone should study you should get a university degree be able to hold a good job but not in the expense of not having a relationship at all for example I tell my students university time is the best time to make friends and maybe even find a girl or a boyfriend yeah. because look at look at you for example look at everybody here nobody's at my age everybody's at your age yeah, right yeah. most people are students they're they're at your age they're single and they're pursuing university degree all here are good candidates mm -hmm. right so what else in your life you're gonna have an opportunity like this again when you when you quit when you finish university you go for a company working they're gonna be older they're gonna be already married right now is the best opportunity for studying and also make friends and seeing people at your age and a lot of girls are oh, they don't even think about this well, mm. I think and that you can read this about uh, I talk about this in the dating there's an article here dating while in the college so college could be up for university degree for dating for a lot of things balanced life right mm. do, do you guys agree with me yeah but yeah. I, but we think uh, the so feminism is mm. happening in china now no. Yes, I believe so. It's happening in many places. Because not it, all, yeah. Because but the, it started. The society there. is not just. Huh? Just. The, the what? Justice. Justice. The, the society is not just. What, what is not just? No, 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 no. It's not equal. It's not equal. Treat the uh, the men and the women. The yeah. society, okay. the society treats the man and a woman is not equal. Okay. It's the, the, do not have a same attitude. Uh, do, do, do you feel like the men are treated better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Uh, uh, mm -hmm. For example, a lot of people who say that, for example, yes, they are treated differently, but not necessarily better. For example, if you look in the statistic, I know some statistics from the United States, I don't know here in China. But for example, most men are the ones who are locked in prison most men are the are the ones who are more likely to commit suicide most men so they they have a lot of things that are very wrong in their side 
right? Mm. But when the feminism are talking about equality, they only talk about things that men are having it better. But they have a lot of things that are getting worse. So, of course, they're different, right? They're biological differences, right? The mm. men cannot have babies, right? So, for example, if a company is going to hire a girl, they have. So if she gets pregnant, she, I have to give him a leave, maternity leave. So she's not going to be working as much as a man because a man doesn't take maternity leave, right? So there's a lot of difference. I agree with you. Mm. But uh, they're not necessary. For example, when they, they talk about uh, paying more men than, mo than, than women. Yeah, yeah. But uh, the, the thing is, they don't look all the 17 variables. There's not only one variable. They're only looking about sex. Are you for male? You're gonna make more money? No, it's not only because you're a male. It is because they're willing to work more hours. They choose uh, jobs that pay more, higher salary. There are 17 explanations for why men makes more money, not only sex. And the feminism is only talking about sex is the reason. No, it's not only that. So there are many more reasons. For example, let me ask you, this is a personal question. What about you guys? Do you want to get married one day or not? No. No? Yeah. What about? <laughs> Maybe I I think, yeah. I think it's good to get to, for example, life alone is not very good. So, so let me ask you, for example, why is it more harder to find a partner when you're older? Do you ever thought about this question? Why? Mm. I'm going to show you a picture. Uh, let me see here. This is the picture that I'm going to show you. Okay. So the, the pink one is the sexual market value for a woman. And the, red, the blue one is the sexual market value for a man. As you can see, they're different, right? So here is the value, right? And here is the age. So the peak value for a woman is around 21, 23 years of age. Yeah. And the, the peak mac market value for a man is about 35, 40 years of age. Do you know why? I don't know. Because men and women are looking different things in their partner. For example, if I ask you, what will you, would you be looking in a partner if you want to marry a person? So what is most important for you? Maybe responsibility. Huh? Responsibility. Responsibility? Yeah, responsibility. And... Uh, So let me translate for you, okay? Responsibility, yes, this is the most women want a man who is responsible. They, they don't want a man who's gonna lose the job every year, right? Yeah. Ah, he's not responsible. So usually women, they're liking uh, to look for security in a man. Yeah. So they want a man who's uh, having a good career prospect, good future, right? So for example, if you look at the boys right now in the university, 20 years of age, they don't have a job yet. They don't have a university degree yet. Mm -hmm. So they, their value is very low. They don't have a, a, a direction in life yet. But uh, if you see a man 35, he's already graduated from university. Maybe he's working in his own company. Maybe he has a good job. Yeah. Now he has more value, yeah. right? So and now if I ask you the same question to a man, what you're looking for in a partner, so what do you think he's going to answer? Young, huh? young and beautiful. Young and beautiful, yes. That's, that's most important. For, for girls, it's not that important. I'm not saying that girls, that they don't care about the appearances. They do. But it's not as much as important as you said here. Responsibility, safety, financial safety, things like yeah. that. But for a man, for example, usually a girl never marries down. For example, if you had to marry a boy who does not even have a university degree, yeah. but it's not the, the same for the men. Men usually marry a girl who has no degree. Even though he has a degree, he marries down. 
So, and that's and that's the explanation for this, right? Because girls are more young. They're girls that are more beautiful. They are I mean. They're young and beautiful in 2021. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't have to have a university degree. She doesn't have to have a good job. Right? She's just beautiful and young. <laughs> right? So I, maybe this is not fair because, for example, you don't see, if you see, for example, a lot of um, American movies, right? So they, you see those rich people in yachts, right? You see beautiful young girls. You don't see beautiful boys because they have value when they are younger, right? So this is why it's easier to find a partner when you, you are younger. For example, right now, as a younger girl, university, college years, so you can almost date any boy you want here. <laughs> yes, it's true, but uh, for the boys, not the same. This is why they ask, "Well, oh, teacher, I'm shy. I don't know how to approach girls." They get rejected all the time because they have no value. They don't have a job yet. They don't have a university degree yet. They, they have nothing, yeah. right? That's why, for example, as a girl, it's much easier for you. But it's gonna get harder for you. And if the boy is working in his life, getting a university degree. Finding a good job is gonna be it's gonna get easier for them. Mm -hmm. So this is why it's not a very wise decision. Uh, I'm gonna start dating when I'm 35. I'm gonna marry when I'm 140. It's gonna be much harder. Mm -hmm. And and then going through life as a single person is not. I, I don't see this is not a happy way of going. There's another thing that I can show you here. Maybe I didn't know where I put it. Let's see here. Did you find this interesting? This conversation interesting? <laughs> so let's see where did I put it? Uh, where? No, okay, here. The way to happiness. There is this study here, okay? So the five most common regrets people have at the end of their life. Mm -hmm. yeah. This study was done in hospitals. Yeah. People are very close to die, yeah. right? They have ill, they're very ill or they're, they don't have too much time to live. Mm -hmm. And that they ask those most common regrets. And see, here's the answer. I wish I had the courage to, to myself. To myself not the life others expect of me, right? Yeah. I wish I had uh, worked so hard. I wish I had the courage I to... My yes, the fourth one. I wish I always... In touch with my friends. Yes, and I wish... That I had uh, let myself uh, be happier. Okay, you see, none of the answers talking about I wish I had more money. Yeah. I wish I had uh, worked more hours. Mm. Or I wish I... Uh, they, none of them talking about this. All the regrets are related to good relationships. They're regretting time with their kids. They're regretting not spending time with their wife. So money does not make you happy. So this is why those women have good financial life, house, car, they have companies, but they don't have a spouse. They don't have kids. They're miserable. But I think it's a culture problem in China. So yes. In China, um, uh, most of people think uh, the, the house, uh, the car, is going to uh, make you happy. Uh, the, the money is very important. Yes, and I'm not saying I'm not saying that is not important. I'm just saying they they will not they are not going to replace mm. a good, fulfilling relationship. Mm. And sometimes you're just having the money is not going to money is mm. going to make your life more comfortable, yeah. but not happier. So remember, balanced life. You have to have you have to have money, job, of course. Otherwise, you're gonna die, starve, right? But also, you you wanna have a good relationships, and the best starting point for any girl is the college. <laughs> you can look at there. For example, go to the west to this west campus. This is engineering course. Much more boys in there. <laughs> I have seen boys from that campus eating here, right? Because they have girlfriends in this side of the campus. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Good things to talk about it, and I have talked, and I have been discussing this a lot in the English corner. Some girls, oh, I never thought about this. Being aware, 
is when you make you start making good decisions. I never thought about this. Instead of uh, just letting the pass by, I'm gonna think about this 10 years from now. No, start thinking about now. Maybe you're losing an opportunity to find a good person here because the chances are much higher here. So maybe now you will you try to find a girlfriend for yourself? For example, no, for me it's different, right? For example, I would never date a student. It's very unprofessional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't speak Chinese. If I go outside the university, nobody speaks English, right? So it's it's harder for me. Hmm? I think. <laughs> but for example, I am open. For example, I did. Uh, uh, I think I show you this, right? Uh, I, the I the picture I of the girl, right? Yeah, yeah. So that girl was living in Shenzhen. Shenzhen. Yes, but uh, I couldn't. I. I tried to find a job there, it was at the pandemic time, I didn't. And then I asked her, what would be the second best option? And then she told me, Zhengzhou, because my parents live very close to Zhengzhou. I study in Zhengzhou. When I go to visit my parents, I can meet you there. Mm. So, and then I find a job here in Zhengzhou. And then we start video calling, sending messages to each other. But uh, uh, she did st stop messaging me and she never came to visit me. But I came here because of her, because I wanted to meet her. But wow. th there's two things. She's, she, sp she speaks English very well, and uh, she went to live in the United States. That's, that's why she speaks English very well. Yeah. And there's another thing that we kind of click together. We talk uh, for eight months, video calling, mm -hmm. almost every day. But uh, things are, we start stop talking to each other, and she, she already moved to, I think, Finland. She's not even in China anymore. So you, uh, you, you think uh, she is your soulmate? No, no. There is no thing. There is no such a thing as soulmate. Soulmate is an illusion. Why? N you're never going to find a perfect person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, people who are looking for the perfect match, they're looking for something that does not exist. Yes, there, there simply does so not you. exist. <laughs> so you know. Are you looking for a soulmate? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's looking for a perfect soulmate. You're never <laughs> gonna find it. Mm -hmm. I have some um, wealthy, <laughs> uh, uh, tall. <laughs> they they do have a. I don't know. Maybe there's a website. They kind of calculate. The, the odds of finding such person. They can have all the characteristics. Oh, the guy has to make a six-figure income, has to have a six-pack, has to be tall, handsome, whatever. As you're putting those things there, they're calculating the statistics of finding such a person. So after interviewing a normal girl and asking what are uh, their demandings, they put in the calculator, they find it's going to be 0.0001% of chances <laughs> of finding that person. <laughs> so it's impossible, right? So they're never going to find someone like that. You need, for example, so are you perfect? No. no. Right? So how are you demanding someone perfect? But uh, you need to have a few core principles, right? So maybe what, what's the most important for you? And then have a three or four things that you're looking for in a guy. He has to have a, like you said, most girls want the same thing, right? You have to have a, you, you should not be a dumb, right? You, sh you should have a good career, right? Yeah. You, don't, you should be responsible, not losing a job every weekend or getting drunk and go to a job and lose a job, right? So have a few good core points and then be patient, be tolerant for the other things. You're never going to find a perfect person. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that goes for everybody, not for only for her, but uh, people who are looking for the soulmate, they're going to be frustrated or they're never going to find it. And you, you, you don't want to get married and she was the one, but she's looking for the a soulmate, right? <laughs> <coughs> I don't think I write about soulmate here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. I did have a, write a lot of good topics. And I getting those topics from the students in the English corner. They're asking I mean more than once, right? Mm -hmm. So I get their ideas of questions and then start uh, writing my uh, opinion. 
for example this is related accepting the good with the bad for example when you when you getting someone he, of course he has good quality but also he is not perfect he's gonna come with the bad things as well so you have to accept the good with the bad yeah. <coughs> For example, I talk about this one is very interesting. Okay. I asked my students, so let me ask you the same question. Is your grades important? Grade, school grades, A plus, whatever. Is your grades Maybe important? It's not important for me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. So most students, they're in, they're 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 more likely to say yes of course my grade is important right so but you you, you know it right? this is gonna be a tricky question right so I tell that yes it might be important to you and for your grandparents because nobody else wants to see your grades yeah. Yeah. for example not even when you go for a job interview so the guy who's interviewing you to hire you they don't want to see your grades they're never gonna ask you about your grades and then this is what I'm st I was talking because I did teach this class when I was I gave my students a, a test I caught some of them cheating right and then I, I teach this class I don't understand why the students are cheating to improve their grades since their grades are not important nobody cares about their grades but in, but in China everybody mm. thinks that the grade is uh, very important uh, but, the, but this teachers. is yeah but I'm telling them it's not and for example, I, I'm 52 years old. Mm. And even when I came here in China, I got to a job interview, they never asked to see my grades. Even here in China, they, and they said, in my whole career, my whole life, nobody ever asked me to see my grades. But so why do you cheat to improve something that nobody cares about? Maybe they just middle one other people have a for example I have seen students with a low grade like 60 six is the passing grade right yeah yeah so they have 60 but they speak good English so this is what matters so if you, the guy's gonna hire you because they want somebody who can speak English they will not want to see your grades they wanted to see if you can speak English so they will interview you in English yeah. so if you speak good English they're gonna hire you doesn't matter your grades so this is what I'm telling you, you may be cheat in school, but you're not going to cheat in the job interview. Yeah. Yeah. So don't give too much importance, too much importance to your grades. Just go participate in the English corner, be less shy, right? Talk more, right? Because a lot of students do only things for the grades. If uh, it's not a, you're not going to give me grades for this, I'm not going to do it. For example, if I give them a homework, but uh, is not worth any points, oh, I'm not going to do it. It's not, it's not gradable. <laughs> so why you're here? Are here for learning or for grades? Because grade, nobody's going to care about your grades. Yeah. So for example, if you go to my class, my class is easy to pass. But uh, I tell the students, oh, I, if you're here for passing grade, that's going to be easy. But if you're here for learning, you're going to do things that I'm asking you to do, but I'm not giving you points for it. Hmm. So this is a different point of view. For example, I'm, I'm giving my students one, one assignment this semester. This is the assignment here. I even put it here as a post. I'm giving, this, this, I'm giving them this book here for free. This book for free. And this book has 20 countries, okay? There's a picture, or is the picture? Okay, it has 20 countries. Mm -hmm. And each country, I'll talk about 13 topics. Politics, famous people, language, religion, geography, whatever. And then they have to listen, listen, right? And then they have to read out loud, and then they have uh, 10 questions. I'm required then to do just one country but they have 20 countries in the book so if they want to do for passing they only do one country get their grades and they're done but if they wanted to learn yeah. right yeah. so this is what I'm telling them if you're here to learn English you're supposed to do all the countries 
because for example the students are just like you right they say oh my oral English is not good when they pronounce they kind of a have a strong accent sometimes they don't pronounce correctly I don't understand them so they need to improve pronunciation and this is a good exercise for improving so they need to listen oh they listen once and then the second time they read out loud they need to pronounce in order to become good so I give them the book for free I give all the mp3 files so they can listen to every country and then this is a good practice Another way to learn in pronunciation is kind of singing music. It's a very fun way to improve in pronunciation. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of things that I, they, they can do. For example, I gave you this book, right? Mm. This book has a lot of ideas of things that you can do as a student to practice English. So if you start putting in practice those ideas, you're going to say, oh, my English is getting better. Yeah. But you need to do a little bit every day. Not like uh, once in a week the whole day. It's much better when you do a little bit every day. And English changed my life. I am not a native speaker. My native language is Portuguese. I learned English when I was in the United States. And because of that, I'm reading books that they don't have in Portuguese. I am here in China. I could not be here in China if I didn't learn English. I have jobs in my own country that they did not hire me if I didn't speak good English. So these are American companies in Brazil. They were looking for someone who speaks good English. They have other candidates. I knew that the other candidates has more qualification than but they didn't speak English. So they hired me. <laughs> so things like that happen when you learn another language and you speak fluently. So this is a very nice thing to pursue. Yeah, but, 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 but now you, you, you want to use a, the major English major to find a good job uh, like uh, teaching in the university or high school uh, it's very difficult because uh, most of school just uh, need uh, maybe one, two, three teachers every year well there, there's uh, many ways that you can go about right? network is one of them so maybe read the, the, the post about networking mm -hmm. and also another very good one is uh, doing volunteer jobs for example usually the student has less classes in the last year right that is because I, I feel like it's because the university is giving you more time so you can find uh, internships for maybe working for experience because the, the company is not very likely to hire someone who has no experience at all right so doing volunteer work is also very, very nice thing to do. Okay. For example, I can tell you this. So when I came here in China, I was uh, teaching and then I started looking for things to do, right? So I, I was asking about English Corner. I went to the, the principal's office and asked if I can give a volunteer lecture. And then, oh, yes, we have uh, some few teachers. They, they give a volunteer lecture in our library. And then we set up a time for me to teach a, a volunteer lecture. So, see, it's not part of my job. They would not pay me for it. But I wanted to do anyway. So uh, my lecture wasn't in the library. They was in the chemi chemistry building. So they have the auditorium there. So the guy was the head of the chemistry department. He's the one who opened the door for me and he stays in the lecture. After I give the lecture, he came to me and talked, oh, I really enjoy your lecture. So I kind of, uh, so what? And this was December. And he told me, what are you going to do in January? And they said, well, it's a vacation time, but I'm not going to travel, I'm going to stay here. And then he proposed, well, would you be willing to teach my daughter and her uh, cous cousins uh, English? And I said, yes, I'll be, I'll be happy to do it. So he talked to her daughter and, and the cousin. He found me 10, 10, 10 students, her daughter and her cousins and a few other more. So every day from 10 p.m., he, he found me a class with a computer. So I went there and having a good time with the students, right? Teaching, reading stories, vocabulary, whatever. And then midday, the parents came to pick up their kids. And then we have dinner. I mean, and then we have lunch together in a restaurant. So I did this for, so I get to know those students, right? So what happens in February? Spring festival, right? Mm -hmm. 
Every family invite me to spend one day with them. And of course, with my students, right? I teach them, the students, right? So I spend the, my whole spring festival spending my whole week with a one different uh, Chinese family every day. <laughs> this was my best spring festival ever, right? Because I, they went to pick me up in the morning and then we have the lunch together. I spend the whole afternoon playing games, cards, sometimes went to the movie theaters and then we have dinner together again and then they bring me back home at night. And then the second day, another family came and picked me up. And oh, we oh. did this for the five days. Oh, <laughs> oh. And none of this would have happened if I didn't volunteer to give that lecture. Yeah. See, there's a lot of things that happen because you put something in motion, right? Like start doing something. Volunteer jobs is a good thing. Yeah. Very, very nice. I guess this is my best experience in China ever. And it yeah. would never happen if I didn't volunteer for that uh, lecture. I think this is about very really unforgettable. <laughs> yes. Mm. <laughs> 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 Maybe I did wrote about this one, I'm not sure. Yeah, this was the lecture. This is, was in Jujian. Mm -hmm. They put it here, the welcome Brazilian teacher. This is the chemistry building. Uh. This is the lecture here. Hmm. And then I don't know if I talk about that. Uh, oh, this is the dating activity in the English corner. Oh, Nika. This is in uh, Juju, I guess. Jujo. The students did this uh, this invitation here. Uh. <laughs> this is English corner here in Jujo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, there's many more that you can read later. I'm gonna go back home, so very nice meeting you. Yeah, yeah, too. <laughs> me, too, <laughs> me too, me too, me too. It's really too nice. So we maybe you can meet another day again, no problem? Yeah, no problem. All right. Bye-bye. Oh. Bye-bye. Bye.
Uncertain future. Pathetic. Pathetic. I don't need any advice. <laughs> but tell me. Well, I thought I want to say thank you. It was nice. I had a dinner with some students who actually talked to me. It was so nice.
Get your hose. 